My name is Jim Jasinski. I'm with the IPM program, the Department Extension with Ohio State University. Today I want to talk to you about brown marmorated stink bug and some different traps we've used over the years to try to catch this insect in our fields. Before I get into the trapping piece proper, let's talk a little bit about the biology of the stink bug itself. So the brown marmorated stink bug came from Asia. It uh, came to Pennsylvania first back in the late 90s and it landed here in Ohio around 2007. So we've been trying to trap and monitor for this since around 2007. Um, before we came up with the traps, we actually, you know, thought about, you know, can we go into the field and look for this uh, pest? And it turns out that we can, but it's really kind of a tricky one to monitor for. It likes to hide under the foliage in the canopy. So as we look for it, it really hides it. It's difficult. So therefore, we use the traps, which are out here 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to try to catch it to tell us is it in the area or not. And besides just the physical look of the trap, there's actually a chemical attractant. There's a lure that goes with it. So what are the crops that brown marmorated stink bug can feed on? Well, it's fruit crops like apples and peaches and small fruit. It's vegetables like tomatoes and peppers and sweet corn and other crops. In total, there's about 175 species or hosts that it likes to feed on. So I like to say, if it's not concrete, plastic, or metal, brown marmorated stink bug will probably want to eat it. Okay, so let's talk about the traps. Um, when we first started trapping, we used this pyramid style trap. Again, here is the collection vessel up top. This is where the stink bugs would end up, okay? We have graduated from this to this PVC type model again, black or yellow, uh, it sort of has a silhouette of a tree. The insects would climb up and get stuck here in the jar. And now we move down to a third model, which is the sticky panel model, which is right here. So you see that we've just got a, a four or five foot piece of wood, a sticky panel clamped up to the top. And right up here in the top is actually the two different lures that we'd use for the stink bug. There's an aggregation pheromone and there's a synergist, which makes that pheromone work better. I mean, even though we think about this as having a lure specific for, for brown marmorated stink bug, other stink bug species will be attracted by it and will get stuck to it. So when you look at the panel, you're going to want to make sure you know how to identify brown marmorated stink bug and its nymphs versus the other ones. So brown marmorated is actually fairly easy to uh, distinguish. It's a large insect. Um, marmorated means it's kind of got spots or kind of marble shaped markings on its body. It's kind of brownish gray. Again, um, distinctive antenna has kind of a white segment up at the top of the antenna. Um, the legs of the immatures are white and black, so that stands out, you know, pretty well. And this is the same stink bug that comes into your houses in the fall. So if you know what that one looks like, then you know it's going to end up here in the trap. And so this sticky panel is good for about uh, two or three weeks. You know, once a lot of other insects get stuck on here or other plant debris gets stuck on here, um, it's time to change out the panel, uh, put a, new, a fresh panel on. And then as far as the lures go, the lures are good for about a month apiece. So here in Ohio, we uh, typically put these traps out at the beginning of August, run them for a month into September and one more month into October, and then figure out what is the activity of the stink bug at that location. You can either put this trap um, right at the edge of a field, like we have here in this apple orchard, or along the wooded area uh, that's adjacent to that field. The stink bugs will be seen first off in that wooded edge and then move over or migrate into the crop itself. Now in terms of the monitoring and, and the management, when you catch stink bugs on the trap, what does that mean? Well, we only have thresholds for one crop, and that is apples. And so in apples, we look at about a five acre block at, at largest for, with two traps. One trap will put on the edge of the field, and then one trap will put about 40, 50 meters toward the interior of the field itself. When either of those traps catches four or more adult or immature stink bugs, that breaks a threshold and a spray may be justified in that point in time. Uh, we don't have thresholds for any other crops at this point. Once you determine where you're going to put the trap, whether it be by the edge of a woods or by the edge of a field, this is what you might want to do to make the job go a bit easier. Take a wooden stake about the same size as the stake you're going to be using for your trap and go ahead and pound it in about, oh, maybe four or five inches and then go ahead and pull it back out. That'll make it easier for you to insert the actual stake you're going to be using. Sometimes that stake's a little bit thin and we you start to pound on it, it might break. So we go ahead and insert it, give it a couple of taps, step it in at the bottom, and I think we're okay to go on to the next step. 
So once you have the post firmly in the ground, you're going to go on to the second step, which is to attach the sticky panel to the post. Now this panel here is covered in basically non-stick material that you can just peel right off, carefully peel off. That's one side. And that's the second side. And so once you have this panel that's been basically have the wrapper taken off it, you can actually temporarily stick it right on the post like this. Take one of your clamps, clamp it on the top, just like that. Take your secondary clamp and go ahead and clamp it to the post right here. And now that is securely on the post. Now we have to put the lure on. And so when you get your lure, it's gonna come in a silver foil packet just like this. You're gonna tear it open to find there's actually two lures inside. One is a Synergist, and one is the actual aggregation pheromone for brown mermaid stink bug. Now, even though it is designed for the stink bug, you might catch other species, so just sort of pay attention to that when you uh, check the trap later on. So we'll take those two lures, and again, the Synergist and the actual aggregation pheromone itself. And we used to put them on the sides of the trap here. Now we just put it toward the top. We're just gonna thread it in these handles right here. Wanna make sure it doesn't get in the sticky material on the panel itself. And then just go ahead and twist tie that in place. And that is done. So now you have the post up, sticky panels on, and both pheromone lures are right here. The panel and the lures can be found, uh, can be bought at almost any uh, commercial trapping supply house around the country. So if you wanna start trapping around uh, the first part of August through the end of September, if that's when your crop is most vulnerable to attack, then you're gonna need about maybe uh, three or four sets of the panels and two sets of the stink bug lures. So that was a quick introduction to brown mermaid stink bug and how you might trap for it in an orchard or a field or wooded area near you. If you have any other questions about this, please feel free to give me a call.